Thanks, Green. Um, as someone who spends a fair amount of time in the Oval Office with the President, mm -hmm. did you ever have a troubling encounter with Commander? No, not at all. So he never nipped you? No. Were you ever wary of being no. around him because no, of the biting incidents that you had heard about? Absolutely not. And I've seen Commander many times. I was never worried, I, and I've never been bit by Commander. Have any of, your, uh, have any of the members of your staff? Uh, what I can say, I don't have numbers of, uh, of, of, uh, of you know, exact numbers of, of uh, any incidents uh, with Commander. I do want to lay out something that uh, my colleague, Elizabeth Alexander, over at the First Lady's office, who's our communications director. And just to just to be clear here, and we want to, you know, make sure that folks understand, just in case you guys didn't see her statement here, and it goes as follows. The President and the First Lady care deeply about the safety of those who work at the White House and those who protect them every day. They remain grateful for the patience and support of the U.S. US Secret Service and all involved. As they continue to work through solution, Commander is not presently at the White House, on, on the White House campus, and while next, uh, while, while next steps are evaluated. That was a statement that came out from the First Lady's office, and so I will uh, certainly leave it there. Uh, but no, I, as it relates to me, I was never weary of, it, of a commander. I've seen him many, many times, and so I, I can only speak for myself, though, and I can't speak to any, anything else outside of that. I think, I'm surprised. I've been bitten by a dog. If there was a dog that had bitten 11 or 12 other people, I'd be a little nervous around that dog. Why weren't you? I mean, I'm not sure why this has to do anything with me. Uh, I was just not nervous at all. So. That is not a concern for me. That is not uh, something that uh, I can't speak to anything else outside of what you have heard from the First Lady's office. Uh, and so I'll just leave it there. All right. Do you want me to bring the dog into the briefing room? That should be fun. That should be fun. <laughs> Go ahead.